Most people experience a certain type of paralysis when they have to be in a situation where they need to speak in a foreign language that they are learning. Therefore, you are not the only person who feels that. I have felt this as well so many times. But there are very practical ways that you can beat your foreign language speaking anxiety with. So if you are nervous while speaking the foreign language that you're learning, this video will be very useful for you because no matter what your level is at the moment, are you a beginner or an intermediate or even advanced, anxiety is something that doesn't choose and might be something that is bothering you as well, as it is many other people. So here is a seven step roadmap that will help you overcome your foreign language anxiety. The best advice I could give is to speak very slowly when you are speaking in the foreign language. I've seen this in many people that if their natural pace of speaking is very fast in their mother tongue, then they want to do the same thing in the foreign language as well. But obviously it's not possible because the language is still forming in their memory. So they will feel subpar and stupid in their own eyes. But if you just take it down to a very mellow, nice tempo, then it might be that you would be able to start speaking already today. Plus, it's an awesome idea to use fillers while you are speaking a foreign language. I remember that when I started learning French, my main filler was naturellement, <laughs> which means naturally or obviously. And every time I wanted to express something, I didn't remember the word right away. I said, uh, naturellement. Uh, <laughs> and it gave me a little bit of time uh, to find the word that I was searching for. In Romance languages especially, there are also those expressions and noises you can do while you are thinking like, mm, uh, mm, <laughs> You have probably heard them. These are great to use for the same purpose as well. But just keep that in mind. Just choose your filler words and just use them to save this valuable time. People often get disappointed when they find out what a grind a learning a new skill like language really is. It's a marathon for sure. It takes consistent effort and it's not easy to do, even with the language learning apps like Speakly, which uh, simplifies language learning uh, a lot. What I would recommend you to do is not think about the result of speaking the language or, you know, getting to a certain level. I would think about it as a process that I'm enjoying. If it's a process that you are enjoying, then you are process oriented. If it's something that is a goal, a result that you want, then automatically, at least for me, and based on research as well, what I've seen, the whole learning process becomes negative in people's eyes. So I would recommend to focus on the process to make it enjoyable and the results will come as a consequence automatically. So this is very obvious, but if you are in a country where this language that you're learning is not spoken, then it might seem difficult to do. Well, <laughs> don't fret because it's always possible to speak to yourself. Just go about, mind your business on the street and just speak the foreign language. That's what I've been <laughs> doing with all foreign languages myself as well. So you just think of a sentence that you would like to say to a friend or family member or in a specific situation and you just try to say it in the most simple way with the words that you know in the foreign language that you're learning. Also try writing down these sentences that you, you know, have put together yourself and don't be too critical with yourself. If it's filled with mistakes, the whole text you, that you're generating or the sentences that you're saying out loud, it's all natural. People will still understand you even if you make mistakes. As 
I mentioned above, you can't focus on mistakes if you want to be successful in learning a new language. Making mistakes is the most natural way to learn and it's something that you know needs to happen. I like to think of it as the more mistakes I do, <laughs> the faster I will get to a certain level in the language. So if you don't know a conjugation to a certain verb or you know if you don't know the right proposition in a specific sentence just use the one that your feeling tells you to and you know you go with the flow grammar is something that will come eventually throughout the process and it's not something that i would recommend you to start from the beginning of you know the language learning journey The best way of getting feedback for your you know, language production skills, speaking skills and writing skills is actually the speakly speaking and writing exercises. You can say sentences out loud and it will give you feedback right away of you know, how many words are you saying correctly and you know, what are you doing wrong. And don't take it personally, it's just something that you, know, you need to go through, but that would be the best way to approach it. Now, what does that mean? What we see based on research and in practice in you know, language schools and schools all around the globe is that people are studying the language in a certain way and then they need to speak the language in real life situations in a certain way. And these things are not very similar usually. So the best way to prepare yourself and to feel in control is to have spoken the language a lot previously, before the situation. So as I recommended in several uh, of the previous points as well, the best way to feel in control is to have expressed the language, made sentences on a daily basis so that you feel that, you know, I can do it. I can speak sentences out loud. And even if I do sometimes do mistakes, it's nothing so bad. And I have already spoken out loud so much that it's nothing to worry about. And again, the best way to do this would be in Speakly with the speaking and writing exercises. But obviously, you can also, you know, be brave and put yourself into situations where you need to speak on online forums or chats or etc. In the end, people who are successful in learning language based on what I've seen and experienced, are these people who have the glass half full at all times. They don't fret about little things like, you know, making worse progress than they expected or etc. Just be positive. Think about it in a way that, you know, it's something that is enjoyable. It's something that is actually healthy for me, as we covered in one other video in our channel as language learning is so healthy for your brain and uh, in general and it's something that will enhance my life in so many ways so just be positive about it and the results will come if you are consistent language learning is a marathon and you know it's filled with all kinds of anxieties <laughs> that we everybody have experienced myself included because me myself and other polyglots all around the globe have also been in the same spot that you are at moments. It's just knowing only a single foreign language or only speaking a little bit or just starting off with it because everybody started with hello in a new language.